welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be working on the sofa table that is behind me. I'm going to try and give it new life by painting the base and staining the top. If you're new, my name is Emily, and I love DIY projects, thrifting, and really all things crafting. So if this is the type of stuff that you like, then please stick around and let's get started working on the sofa table. Before I get started, I just wanted to show the areas on the top of this sofa table. So this sofa table has been in my family for a while and it was, I believe my great aunt's and I think she used it as like a plant table because there are perfect like circular rings that have water damage. So I'm pretty sure it was from that. And then my mom had it and then she gave it to me. So I am pretty sure that the top is like a, a thin like veneer or something. So I'm going to be very careful when I sand it. The base is solid, um, solid wood, but I'm not really quite sure exactly what the top is going to what it's like actually made of. So I'm gonna have to be very careful when I sand and hopefully I don't damage the top because if I do, then I'm just going to end up having to paint the entire thing, which won't be the end of the world, but I really love the two-toned look. So I'm going to, um, to start sanding probably with uh, 220 um, grit sandpaper and go from there and see how this does. So let's get this cleaned up and I'm going to bring it outside and start sanding. I ended up having to switch from my detail sander to the Merca sander and I started with not 100 but 180 grit of this brand of um, sandpaper and then my husband had this new one 3M um, if you can see that to try and it worked so much better on getting everything off so all I have to do is go over the top with 220 and then I'm ready to stain. I've tightened the legs and I'm gonna be using Dixie Bell chalk paint uh, midnight sky to paint the legs and do I'm just gonna do a light little sand on the legs just to make sure that the chalk paint really adheres to the legs and then I'm gonna stain the top I'm still undecided I'm torn between two stain options um, so I'm gonna get the legs painted and go from there Okay, I just wanted to show you guys before I start um, painting so that I don't um, potentially contaminate my jar of chalk paint. I poured some into a solo cup that I cut. That way I can dip my brush back and forth into this. And if there's any issues with this paint, then it won't affect the entire jar. So I'm ready to get painted.
coat is dry and I'm ready to do the second coat. So for the Dixie Belle chalk paint, um, it is a thicker consistency. So for the first coat, I just do the normal consistency and I don't get like perfect coverage, um, but I get as much on as possible. And then for the second coat, what I do is I add just a little bit of water to the chalk paint and I stir it up so it's just a little bit looser and then it spreads a lot um, easier and you get more, your, you know, your chalk paint lasts a little bit longer when you do it that way. So I have this water down and I'm gonna get to painting the second coat. Second coat is on and drying. In the meantime, I'm going to stain the top. And there are definitely different types of wood um, on the top. Very pretty, but two different types of wood. So I think I'm going to do early American. Um, it's not too dark. It's also not too light, and I think it will complement the black really well. drying on the top and while the stain is drying I've decided just to lightly distress all the detail on the base of um, the table like and on the legs especially on the other side um, where that pretty detail is I'm going to distress that and with the chalk paint I am going to use a damp towel um, or cloth I'm using a damp cloth uh, it does distress very well when you have a damp cloth um, I'm gonna do that instead of using sandpaper so that it's less messy. And um, if I have to use the sandpaper, then I will, but I'm gonna try this first. So I'm gonna get to doing that and then let it sit for a couple hours before I clear coat it. hours and the base is completely dry the top still needs um, a couple more hours to dry but in the meantime I'm going to do a uh, clear coat on the base so I'm going to be using the DIY big top and because I have a dark colored paint and a clear coat I'm going to mix some of the black in with the big top so by doing this, it will help blend the top coat in with the dark base and it won't be as, you won't see like streaks and stuff. So, um, you know, if you have 
done just a regular uh, regular clear coat like a polycrylic or something on a dark you know dark color and it's been kind of streaky next time you do it try mixing some of that colored paint in with your clear coat and hopefully that will help get rid of the streakiness that you have I am loving how this is turning out so far. The um, top is still, um, it's not dry. It's only been a couple hours and I just wiped a, a paper towel over top and I'm still getting some residue. So this probably will just sit overnight and then tomorrow I will add the um, two top coats to the top and then this thing is done. But guys, Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick furniture flip. I love how the sofa table turned out. I love that the combination of the midnight sky along with the light distressing of the detail in the sofa table, how it just elevated it and made it look a little bit more high end. I just love how it looks in the space and I cannot wait to finish that area now. So I have the window above the sofa table and I have a, um, a DIY kind of Pinterest inspired picture that I want to incorporate into that space. So hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. So stick around for future videos. Let me know in the comments if you guys like furniture flips or if you guys just like DIY projects or thrift flips, anything like that. I love to know what you guys are interested in so that I can create content that you guys enjoy watching. Please consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.